Free Comic Book Day 2022 is coming up. Here are some of the books to keep an eye out for. All right, you guys, Free Comic Book Day is almost upon us. For 2022, Free Comic Book Day is going to be on the first Saturday in May like it always is, but for this year, that is May 7th. And this video is gonna be highlighting all of those free comic books that are on my radar. No, of course, I won't be able to get all of these. Um, I'm gonna to have to choose because I believe there, there are still limits at your LCS as to how many books they're gonna allow you to take with you for free. Uh, but these are the books I have my eye on. So this list will go in order by Marvel, DC Comics, and then we'll get into some indies and even manga. But before we do so, if you haven't done so already, please go ahead, click that subscribe button down below. It really helps out my channel. I'm gonna scoot over here for a second just to give you guys a better view of the books that I'm gonna be looking at. Okay, starting with Marvel, we have Avengers, X-Men, Eternals, Judgment Day number one. This is gonna be laying the groundwork for Kieran Gillen's upcoming event featuring these three Marvel teams. Uh, next, we have Spider-Man Venom number one. This is three separate one-shots that's gonna be leading into a new upcoming Marvel series. And last up, we have Marvel Voices, which is continuing a lot of the iterations that we've been seeing from this title. On to DC, we have Dark Crisis Special Edition number zero. This is going to be the prelude to DC's upcoming Dark Crisis event, written by Joshua Williamson. Basically, the Justice League is dead, so that means a new generation of superheroes will have to join forces. Next, it looks like we have a title that's more so for teens, and that is Galaxy, the Prettiest Star. Moving on, we also have DC League of Super Pets, the great mix-up, which I would assume is coming out in preparation for that new DC movie, animated movie featuring The Rock and Keanu Reeves as Batman. All right, moving on for indies. Starting with Image, we have the Bone Orchard Mythos Prelude. I think all we need to know here is that this is going to be a new story by Jeff Lemire and Andrea Sorrentino. Next, we have Clementine number one, and this is going to be a new title by Robert Kirkman. Let's now jump to Boom Studios. We have 25 Years of Buffy the Vampire Slayer Special. Since the TV show is turning 25 years old this year, this is why this comic book is coming out. Um, but it's also going to give a fans a look into the future of the Buffy franchise for comic books. The Buffy titles were published by Dark Horse up until 2019. Now with the title being published by Boom Studios, I would hope that we can expect for some new and exciting Buffy things. Also by Boom Studios, we have Hollow number one. I like the way the art looks in this book, and it looks like it's just going to be a story featuring a group of teenagers, I think, by the looks of it, uh, living in Sleepy Hollow. Next, we have Dark Horse Comics colliding two very well-known sci-fi properties, Stranger Things, Resident Alien. We also have an Avatar The Last Airbender title coming out from Dark Horse Comics. And moving on to IDW, we're getting a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles title, as well as a Sonic the Hedgehog title. If you're following Sonic the Hedgehog, they're almost up to issue 50, and by the looks of it, this will just catch you up on everything that has happened before that issue releases. Next, we have a title from Aftershock Comics, and that is Bunny Mask Tales. I would assume this is going to be maybe like an anthology of collecting some different stories within that Bunny Mask universe. Should be pretty cool. We also have a title by Rebellion, and that is Best of 2000 AD, Issue 0. I'm not familiar with this franchise, but by the looks of it, this is going to be essentially a mixtape of Al Ewing's series, 2000 AD. And we also have a comic book featuring Jack Black, and that is Colt Cable featuring Jack Black, number one, and that's going to be by Behemoth Comics. Next are two video game related titles, um, and I know I did mention Sonic, so technically uh, this is another two. We have Bloodborne by Titan Comics, and this is, of course, based on the video game series. I think it's Bloodborne, or maybe it's within like their Soul franchise. Uh, I haven't played the game, so I'm not as familiar. But we also get a Street Fighter Masters Blanca number one, which is going to be focused on the first solo adventure comic of the Street Fighter character, Blanca. And these last two indie 
comics that I want to mention releasing for free comic book day. First one being The Guardian of Fukushima, number one, and that is being released by Tokyo Pop. So this is going to be based off of the tragic event that happened on March 11th, 2011, where there was a massive earthquake off the coast of Japan that triggered a devastating tsunami, which led to three nuclear reactors being destroyed within the city. Um, and of course, a lot of people had to flee and, and even lost their lives. I'm sure this story is going to be very sad, but I'm sure it's, it's also going to give us a really interesting perspective on those tragic events that happened back in Japan in 2011. Next, we have a title being released by, I would say, the best horror publisher right now in comics, and that is Scout Black Caravan. This one is The Electric Black, The Children of Cain, and it's a tie-in to the current Electric Black series by Black Caravan. And last up, we have a few mangas that I wanted to mention. First one up, we have Wan Dance and Blackguard Sampler by Kodansha Manga, and this is going to be giving us an exclusive look into two new mangas being released by this publisher. We also have Kaiju number no. eight in Sakamoto. This is by Viz Media, and it's gonna be focusing on a task force that is um, fending off Kaiju monsters throughout Japan. And to conclude the list, we will be getting a Pokemon title by Viz Media, and that is gonna be Pokemon Journeys. All right, so those are all the comics that I wanted to highlight that are gonna be releasing for free comic book day coming up this Saturday, May 7th, 2022. Leave a comment and let me know if there's any books on this list that you're for sure going to be picking up at your LCS. And also, again, I would encourage you to please subscribe to this channel. I'd really appreciate it. And lastly, let's get out there Saturday, pick up some free comics, but more importantly, support our comic book shops and show them why this is the best community out there, the comic book community. That's all I got. I'll see you guys back here for my next video. But until then, peace.